to this very special extended edition of Gravesham 5, brought to you from Community Square, where we're celebrating the Queen's 90th birthday party. Now, hundreds of school children have already tucked into their sandwiches and soft drinks and are currently enjoying some fantastic entertainment. Uh, it's actually a, a royal birthday weekend. Uh, it's the Duke of Edinburgh's 95th birthday today, and tomorrow it's the Queen's official birthday. Uh, earlier I spoke to some special guests of the party, but first we're going to go over to some local news from the borough. Royal scarecrows gathered on Community Square to be judged as part of the Gravesham in Bloom project. This year's theme is Queen and Commonwealth. Deputy Mayor Harold Crask awarded first prize to Rootham Road School for their enthroned Queen with birthday card. Runners-up were St John's School with a country-looking monarch and, by the way, that's a corgi. Grave Schmartz took third place with a Queen of Arts. All the square crows will be popping up in various events this summer. The Victoria Clock Tower is to get a facelift thanks to a lottery grant. The council's cabinet was told uh, the, the details. The council has been successful in securing um, heritage lottery fund funding uh, to enable the clock tower scheme to actually take place. Uh, the scheme costs us some £215,000, with £172,000 to be met from the Heritage Lottery Fund and the remaining uh, to be met from existing Grosvenor Borough Council budget and also KCC members. Work will start soon to repair and refurbish the tower, which will be lit. Yes, the recommendation is we recommend to Council that this is added to the capital programme. Happy with that? The work has started on the latest phase of the £9.5 million transport quarter, which will include a new road system, a taxi rank and bike park, together with a new station forecourt. The money has come from a couple of government transport funds and is due to open at the end of next year. Until then, the parking arrangements that were in Rathmore Road will be at Parrock Street, where there have been additional spaces for disabled parkers. So I'm with Maud, one of the special guests here today. Um, mine today. Pardon? You're mine today, tell him. It's what, sorry? <laughs> You're mine today. Not his. Oh, I, I belong to Maud today, apparently. <laughs> but Maud, can you tell us your middle name, please? My middle name, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, so you're, uh, you're sharing the special day as well, I guess? Yes, yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you think of it today? Mar Marvellous, absolutely, because I don't go out much as a rule, you know, but it's uh, fantastic, yeah. And if you don't mind me saying so, Maud, you're looking fantastic. P I am? Yes. Oh, <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I'll be all right. I'll tell you again, tonight she has its perks, I'll tell you that. Oh, well, um... I think I'm going to have to see, uh, meet up with Maud a bit later. So, Maud, thanks for chatting with us. I'll see you for a tea in a minute. So here in my hand, I have one of the Royal Mint special commemorative coins for the event. And everybody here today is going to get to take one of these home to keep as a little memento of the day. Now, uh, I'm also here with uh, two of the people responsible for bringing this event into existence. I have uh, the Deputy Council Leader, David Turner, and the Cabinet Member for Young People, Jordan Mead. So, Jordan, uh, you first, if you don't mind. Um, tell us, why are we all here today? Well, we're here today to celebrate the 90th birthday of Her Majesty and also to bring together people from right across the community, from primary schools to 90-year-olds. It's great that a diverse group are here today celebrating the Queen's birthday. Yes, certainly, it certainly looks like it's going awfully well. And David, you must be very pleased with today's event. Um, it's about bringing the, uh, the community together, giving children uh, a lasting memory, is it not? Yes, I remember very much uh, the Queen's coronation. Uh, it wasn't a day like this, it was very, very rainy. We had a lovely street party in Sidcup where I was born and bred. And I remember it in detail to this day. And today is all about the Queen's 90th birthday, a celebration these youngsters, they'll enjoy today, but they'll remember in 40 years' time, they were here in Gravesham having a great time on the Queen's 90th birthday. Absolutely. Well, thanks for speaking to us, guys. You can go get some cake now. Thanks very much. <laughs> 
behind me we've got One Direction carrying on the entertainment, but the weekend does not end here. Tomorrow we're going to be back for the Fusion Festival in Fort Gardens and the cameras will be there to bring you all the happiness and joy. So, if we can wave our flags please, are we having a good time? Signing off, see you tomorrow.